Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I was going to show you guys how you can use Cthulhu in Logic Pro X. It's definitely a great tool that helped me in the past. When I was stuck and I wasn't able to uh, really come up with anything um, when making beats, uh, this tool like sort of opened up the, you know, opened up the gates for me and, uh, and let me get inspired and then, um, you know, complete a beat. So what I did here for this tutorial was uh, I used the Grandeur uh, it's a piano by Native Instruments for Contact 5. You can get that via the you know Complete 10 or Complete 11 package or by itself. Um, but uh, it's definitely a nice piano plug-in uh, for this demonstration. And I wanted to sort of show you how you can make like a get Toronto type hip hop beat with um, with Cthulhu because um, there are a lot of these uh, these chord progressions that I hear in Cthulhu um, with this preset bank called Snow Audio. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for Cthulhu as well as Snow Audio. Uh, these are definitely, uh, this is something you definitely need to get. It's like $7, I think, and Cthulhu is like $39, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it's definitely a, a small-time investment, uh, but you will reap the benefits from it if you're, you know, uh, looking in the long run. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, just check out what I did with this. I am sending MIDI data. This is how essentially Cthulhu works. I'm sending MIDI data from uh, Cthulhu into the grandeur. Okay, so if I hit one key on my keyboard, it's actually playing an entire chord on uh, Cthulhu and then sending that Cthulhu, well, that chord from Cthulhu into the grandeur. That's that's sort of the way the, the routing works here. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's take a look. Let's take a listen really quick. And then I sort of added um, a piano without Cthulhu on top of it, you know. That I just played myself on top of the those chord progressions. And boom, you got something uh, that, you know, you can start making a beat with now. So, um, what I did with the uh, piano was uh, I used an EQ, took a lot of the highs and some of the mids out, and uh, I ducked that uh, little bit of 100 to 200 range down a bit too. So, you know, it sort of gives it like uh, more of a, a sound of today, uh, if you know what I'm saying. But... Um, I'm going to just show you the difference here without the EQ and you know what I'm talking about and you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh but yeah, you could see you could you can make some really dope chord progressions with Cthulhu uh on the fly. So um you know, if you're not good at, you know, playing the piano and whatnot, and uh, you just want to make some beats. This is definitely also a nice tool for you. So anyway, if you have questions about Cthulhu and uh, how everything works, you know, please leave that in the comment section. I'm really not going to go, not really not getting into detail with Cthulhu. You know, I, I'm sort of going to let you guys explore it. And then if you have questions, get back to me, and uh, we can discuss it further. But um, I hope this video helped you a little bit or gave you a drive to get Cthulhu, get started with making some really dope beats. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comment section. My name is CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.